my head rebound off his elbow into the cabinet. <laughs> I think I gave Mike something to bite down on. See the shockwave go through, yeah. through his skull. Hello and welcome to another episode of UK Stuntman React. We are very excited today as we have a great guest, Joey Anser. Welcome, Joey. Joey is an actor, director, an action performer and coordinator. Very excited to have him on the show. Joey, tell him a little bit about yourself. As Harry said, I'm an actor. I got into the movie business through a love of action, predominantly. The Bourne Ultimatum was kind of my big Hollywood break. Played the role of Desh, the Black Briar, Snow White and the Huntsman. Dwarf Killer. <laughs> Mission Impossible Fallout with the main man Tom Cruise. I most recently did The Old Guard on Netflix with Charlize Theron, the main physical threat to the immortals. Going on, I got into directing and writing and producing. I've tackled Street Fighter, so I did Street Fighter Legacy, which was a YouTube short. Then, three years later, managed to get the rights to do Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, which is a feature-length movie. And then another mini-series, Street Fighter Resurrection. Making Street Fighter in live action has been the better part of a decade of my life on and off, so and that's made a lot of fans happy. Let's take a look at our first clip. <laughs> Born Ultimatum, where Joey played Desh, the, uh, the foil to Born in this film. This is the culmination at the end of about a 15 minute chase pursuit. It culminates in this almighty showdown between Born and Desh. The police are chasing Born. Born is chasing me and I'm chasing a Nicky Parsons, Julia Stiles character. It gets to a sort of breath hold moment. <laughs> If you'll note, there's no musical score no. over yeah. this fight scene. This scene does not need a driving yeah. score to kind of make it exciting. It's like two Rottweilers fighting. They're rolling in a ball, snapping and biting until one of them is dead and not moving. And yeah. that's the reality of two people trying to kill each other. When Julia Stiles fish hooks me, yeah. did it and it slipped and she scratched Ugh. like that down my cheek skin clean, you know, to the yeah. dermis when it's just white, you know. <laughs> the flip, because <laughs> yeah. I, I wanted to put, you know, with all my tricking, I was doing mad flips and stuff back in those days and yeah. Jeff Imardo was the fight choreographer. So he was like, okay, I want you to do a reaction to a, a wrist lock, really fast and dirty, wha-bang, like the super quick ones. And then I was like, you know what, I think I could land on my feet. And he was like, you reckon? And I was like, yeah. Just, I said, just give me a little pop. And we did it. He's like, hey, 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 Jeff, come, come look at yeah. this. You know, yeah. hat off to Jeff for putting in, allowing me to show something that hadn't been I seen. Mean, that moment in particular, it stands out in my mind so much. Just something you don't expect. Yeah, you know, and that, that moment you go, oh, oh okay, that's okay. what this guy can do. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's cool that as soon as I land it, Bourne sweeps me and yes, it continues. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like it holds or the slow-mo push on your face. Yeah, now yeah, I am yeah. in charge. Matt did, I would say, 90 to 95 percent of everything you see in this. Right, okay. Right. So that was Matt, me smashing Matt into the glass cabinet. Right, okay. Me throwing Matt into the bathroom and him stacking it in there. And would you say he was pretty dedicated to getting the action right and wanted to... Oh, he's he great. I would say to him, Matt, on this take, I'm not going to go high. I'm not going to throw shot. I am going to aim for your jaw yeah. to take it off. Are you okay with that? Are you going to get out of the way? And he's like, yeah. And to have that level of trust with the most bankable star in Hollywood <laughs> yeah. that year is incredible. <laughs> they made a slightly squidgy book, but it had a solid core with maybe an inch perimeter of like neoprene. Mm, right. So it would still compress when it's being rammed in, right? Yeah. <laughs> They all hit. If you watch the two and the elbow, it was like a proper Muay Thai slice. <laughs> you see my head rebound off his elbow into the cabinet. <laughs> it's, it was, I saw a flash. You know when you take a real hit Topic, and you just yeah. see a white flash and you're like, what just happened? <laughs> so you come out of that thinking, okay, at least I can take a hit. I was still, <laughs> sta I was still standing after the yeah. wrath of Bourne. Um, <laughs> He was going in with his arm, you know, to break the glass. Yeah. There's two glass doors 
and then there's a glass shelf. 999 times out of a thousand, both would smash, right? He goes in, bang, after his out cut, he's like, my head. And someone went in and was like, geez, the shelf didn't break. So he had just gone in and smashed the doors. Right. His yeah. arm had dropped and he had gone, kong. So when, when you've got that candelabra. Yes. I'm guessing that that's like a, a soft prop, right? You know, rubberized. Soft. Obviously, we haven't worked work with soft props stuff before. The the prop guys are always really proud that they've gone. Yeah, I've got this real soft one, and you feel it, and you go. Yeah, yeah there's soft, a solid metal bar in, in the middle. How could you fit a camera in that cabinet? They've actually sawn out the back of that wall and cabinet and put the camera in the that's cabinet. Cool. And then you come to a. Grizzly, grizzly end in a, in a dirty toilet. This <laughs> was not the original end of the fight, actually. Born strangling me with a towel. I'm strangling him with my bare hands. And it's kind of a deadlock. We're both, you know, sucking the life out of each other. And then suddenly there's a gunshot, bang, and I just drop to the floor. And Born's almost like, almost as flinched. And he looks and Julia Stiles is standing there with a the smoking gun. So she's woken up from being KO'd, picked up one of the guns and saved Bourne and made her first kill. And I thought that's cool because you don't know who would have won had she not been there. Yeah, that's cool. The pages from the Book of Erebus, the Vampire Bible. Blade from 1999. The action design, having watched it again recently, like really holds up, really decent. I love Blade. Yeah. It's so dark, it's unforgiving. It's very atmospheric, just from a set design mm. point of view and lighting point of that's view. Amazing. Then you have this, sort of weird, intriguing little girl, vulnerable looking girl in there, who's an amazing kicker. And the yeah. sound design is good in terms of watching a fight that has really hard hitting sound design. And then the smashing of the glass, once he starts putting people through the, these display cases, there's a real bassy explosion. And I love the way all the vampires come raining in from different angles. And there's some cool trapping and this nice arm break that he does that ends in the grot of Blade. You're just like, that's a really vicious, strategic, multi sort of directional ambush that yeah. they do on him. And it's, it's really well designed. And they've actually thought about that and it creates a visually very satisfying piece. Do you know what? I'd, I'd never really thought about that in that way, and that's a, that's a cool way to look at it. Yeah. A lot of the action sequences you like, it's, there's great storytelling. They hype up this heroic character who's meant to be a great strategist or ex special forces, and then he's doing the most moronic stuff. It makes my blood boil. Whereas <laughs> in this, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> Suck a punch and then just get the hell out of there. <laughs> this is one of many great yeah. action action moments in the film. If you haven't watched the first Blade in a while, go back and re-watch it and appreciate uh, the great work that was mm. done. The climactic scene of Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, which was a uh, feature on Street Fighter film directed by Joey here. Me and George love this. And um, we were inspired to shoot our Dragon Ball Z original trailer after seeing Joey's um, Street Fighter Legacy, which was one of the first high-end fan films that came out at the mm. time. It's very heartwarming to know that you've been a source of inspiration for other creatives to go and do their own campaign. So yeah, Street Fighter Legacy was the sort of YouTube short we did that started this whole journey, and this is kind of the main course. The origin story of uh, you and Ken, um, or Ryu, Ryu as some people know him. <laughs> when you were approaching this final fight, did the guys bring their own kind of fighting styles, or were you performing them on a fighting style? You've got the big special moves in the game that most people will recognize, the Hadouken, which is the kind of energy ball that they project. You've got the Shoryuken, which is the dragon punch, and you've got the that's my and you know, the, oh, that the one, hurricane yeah. kick. <laughs> That's my <laughs> oh, In the games, you've got a, like a light punch, a medium punch, and a hard punch button. So for each of those button presses, there's a specific way they jab. Light punch would be a specific jab. Their medium punch would be a specific cross. Their hard punch for Ryu would be a particular hook. We've painstakingly constructed the choreography using all their move set. That's cool. You know, cool. you notice Ken does a big front somersault yeah. over the Hadouken like you could do in the game. Frick. You may have seen there's a famous uh, Street Fighter tournament that happened where Daigo, famous competitive player in Street Fighter 3, parried an entire sequence. <laughs> it's 
So we've recreated some of the parry. There's a section in the fight where you'll see Ryu parrying all of Ken's strikes. So for people that really know the, yeah, the, the play system, in the choreography, all that stuff is well, represented. That, well, that's what yeah, made it so popular and yeah, obviously people that really appreciate that, that, that level of detail and, and commitment to, to those sorts of things. You know? see the real hit on, <laughs> yeah. on. I think I gave Mike something to bite down on certain hits where someone's got to take a, a, it, a mouth yeah. shot you like so you don't break the teeth or whatever in terms of like the wire work here obviously you're in this like kind of big exterior location mm. were you setting up these kind of a whole rigs? crane a right, massive okay. crane came in that final big dragon punch that Ryu does yeah. you can see he goes high and same with Chris doing the flaming shot at you can. so you need a high enough pick point that you can be shooting at a pretty extreme angle and not see the pick point obviously like they've both trained the same style obviously very different characters yeah so their personalities channel it's the expression of their key that's why ken's key manifests itself in fire because he's got this very hot headed right, yeah let's go reuse dragon punch doesn't have flame but ken's dragon punch does have okay, flames nice. their personalities begin to manifest in their physical style but also the way they they project energy and I may never get this level of freedom again in filmmaking to write and direct something where your producers completely believe in your vision because we finance this, managed to get from conception to delivery to the, the consumer, something that was uncompromised. Captain America Winter Soldier. Joey wanted to put this fight in and it's a fight that we also really loved. Mm. Joey, why, why did you want to have a look at this fight? When you see a film that makes you jealous, that's a good <laughs> sign. You're waiting to see something that makes you feel jealous. Like, that is so cool. I, I want to be in it. I want to be it. Yeah. I mean, the Winter Soldier himself just looks so dope. Such a cool design. The arm, and I love the him with him. It's a shame that he's lost the mask yeah. as he's moved through the MCU. He'll never look as bad as, <laughs> as he does in this film. The way he moves in motion. Yeah. The movement of his hair sort of juxtaposed with this steel arm and stuff. It just looks... It's just really satisfying. You know, sometimes you look at a character in motion and you're just like, yes. And the choreography is just... It's so on point, yeah. It's cool. Cap's use of the shield where it starts off with gunplay and, and Cap's got to try and get close to him whilst he's firing using the shield. And then the hand-to-hand -hand stuff, the great martial arts work. Seeing Cap doing big flying knees yeah. and a big jump back kick and stuff. And the knife sequence with the with the sort of so hand switch yeah. and, the, and the blade flip. flip. Yeah. You're just like, oh wow, this is really nice. <laughs> I love the way the flying knee crumples the car. Those details stay with you when it sells the impact of the hit, when you're like, damn, the whole car's buckled in. Well, we also, we, we talked about sound design earlier with Blade. The sound design of this is so good, just like the, with, with, with the arm. <laughs> the knife going into the side of the van. And all those little details yes. just make it sound and again, so... And again, there's no real score. It's just like a riser. There's genuine threat. You're, you, you genuinely feel that some of these characters could could bite it yeah. in a way that in some of the other Marvel films, you're like, everyone's going to be okay because they're the <laughs> heroes. Nice um, little yeah. dash. That's what I was just saying. They yeah. definitely took it from there, for yeah. sure. And Chris Evans clearly did a lot himself as well, and that really adds when you can see that the actor is. Yeah, I've, I've seen stuff where he, you can see, he gets the like the knife stuff right, and you can see he's so excited by it that he's got he's got it right kind of thing. So yeah, it's really cool. Film doesn't need to be perfect, but if it has moments like that, of course, that's what action filmmaking is all about. Now we're looking at Alien Uprising, which is a UK indie film, uh, which Joe, you were uh, the fight choreographer uh, and also performing in it. Um, it stars Sean Brosnan, who's Pierce Brosnan's son, and Bianca Van Damme, or Bianca Van Varenberg, Van Damme's daughter. Okay, and Van Damme himself is in it Okay, as well. cool. So this was an opportunity to design the action and kind of action direct sequences. I fight Sean, sort of the biggest single one-on-one -on -one fight in the film. Yeah, we went hard. It's some pretty complex choreography and some really gnarly hits and sort of stunts and gags. The most um, 
notable is the spin hook kick. I mean, that looks like it is 100% connecting, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we shot that on a phantom camera, you know, yeah. a thousand frames a second. You could see the shock wave go through, <laughs> yeah. through his skull. And so how did you achieve that without hurting him? I mean, look, the nice thing with a spin hook is that you can use the ball of the foot. So it's like a very meaty slap <laughs> okay. because it's a broad surface area as opposed to a heel, which is a much smaller point of contact that's going to break a bone. Look, it's not going to be comfortable, <laughs> right? But he wasn't KO'd. But he was happy with it and we got a nice. good shot. Whoa! So thank you, Joey, for coming in. It was a really great show. And thank you guys for watching. Come back next week where we've got Maria Hippolyte, who has appeared in uh, films like Black Panther, Wonder Woman, and Spider-Man Far From Home. See you guys next week. See you guys. <laughs>